The Uganda State of Oil and Gas Sector feature is brought to you by Accord in partnership with Cisco and NTV. In January 2023, President Museveni officially launched the drilling of oil and the development of production wells in the Kingfisher oil fields nestled within Kikuwe district. This milestone carries enormous significance as Uganda sets its sights on commencing oil production in the coming years. In preparation for this transformative phase, Uganda has diligently established a robust legal framework governing petroleum waste management. Key legislation includes the Petroleum Exploration, Development and Production Act of 2013, the Petroleum Refining, Conversion, Transmission and Midstream Storage Act of 2013, and the Petroleum Waste Management Regulations of 2019. These legal pillars are the bedrock upon which responsible waste management in the petroleum sector is built. The National Environment Management Authority, NEMA, asserts that Uganda possesses not only the requisite legal framework, but also the necessary capacity to address oil waste comprehensively. Oil waste became a big problem during the exploration phase, but we later on developed capacity. We developed regulations for oil waste management, we developed the regulations for waste management generally. Dr. Akankwasa affirms that NEMA has licensed several entities, each equipped with professional waste management facilities situated within the Albertine region. There is no single oil and gas company that is handling their own waste. They are all licensed out to NEMA certified and licensed professional waste management companies from transport to treatment up to disposal. One of these is Luero Industries Limited, a subsidiary of the National Enterprise Corporation. This is not our first time to get involved in waste management. We already have facilities in Luero Industries. I have talked about the incinerator. Uh, we have engineered the landfills, and uh, we have ever handled the oil waste before with a company called Taro. Civil society advocates, however, emphasize that beyond oil waste, the government must ensure the effective management of all waste types generated by oil-related activities. There should be a very concerted effort in terms of how we deal with these wastes so that eventually uh, it doesn't impact uh, into our environment. The joint venture partners, including Total, underscore their commitment to the handling of diverse waste streams arising from their operations. We are doing what we call volatilization to make sure that every waste that is generated we reuse as much as possible. The Minister of Energy and Mineral Development says all mechanisms have been put in place to ensure effective management of waste. We have worked and uh, ensured we attract investors who are able to invest in waste management for the oil and gas sector. So today you have EnviroServe, but also others, including the National Enterprise Corporation, NEC, that is in partnership with another entity. Permanent Secretary Aaron Batewe elaborates on the collaborative efforts with the Petroleum Authority of Uganda to rigorously monitor the compliance of licensed companies. We will be monitoring this closely in line with the NEMA Act to ensure that uh, these companies are handling the waste in line with the set laws but also the guidelines in the different statutes. So at the first level, we have the legal mandate to enforce compliance. Secondly, uh, the authority has built capacity across the board. However, questions arise. How frequently do these regulatory bodies monitor the activities of waste management companies? The Petroleum Authority of Uganda has monitors on site at all the different oil and gas activities that means we are in the field 24 hours a day to ensure compliance. Monitoring is routine. It is, we cannot spend a week without knowing what is going on on the ground. The stakeholders are confident that no effort has been spared to ensure that oil and gas activities do not harm the environment. Uh, what we normally uh, say, industry, industry best practice, it is what we call for. They are received immediately, they are generated, transported away, to professionally designed waste handling and management facilities. That means that we have mapped out the potential negative impacts of the work, but also documented the required mitigation measures. The, the facilities are ready. 
We will ensure we follow all the protocols. Uganda's nascent oil sector faces a major test, balancing the promise of economic prosperity with the imperative of environmental preservation. As the nation forges ahead toward the era of oil production, vigilance, accountability and cooperative action between stakeholders remain paramount. Benjamin Jumbe, NTV. The Uganda State of Oil and Gas Sector feature is brought to you by Accord in partnership with Cisco and NTV.